Hey, this is a video about cocktail tables. Maybe that should be the uh, thumbnail or something like, uh, like this. Okay, let's stop being silly. Essentially, I wish I knew these things when I first got my cocktail tables, okay? Because this would have made them last longer. Um, and you see already, you know, this is some hints to what we're talking about here. But anyways, we're, we're going to go into this later. I don't actually know exactly how that happened, but I'm surprised these, it happened at all, honestly speaking. Anyway, so one big thing is when you get your cocktail tables, and by the way, this has happened to several brands of cocktail table that we own, so it seems to be typical. Obviously, though, if you're spending more money and you're getting a higher quality brand, it probably happens less or it's more repairable. Um, this can be sanded down, but it can only be sanded down so many times before there's just not enough material. Higher quality brands will have sort of more material there, more uh, sandability. This is a lower quality one. Uh, as an example, I want to show you. So essentially, right now what we tell the clients is like try not to get these wet because it will damage them and we're very strict about it we basically say, don't get it wet although if they do get it wet i mean really i'm not gonna like chase them for for uh, for funds because the damage is kind of at the beginning anyway superficial or slow or hard to see and i'll show you what i mean it's a little hard to see on the camera but right here essentially it starts to delaminate okay especially like i said especially the cheap cocktail tables so what we try to do is uh and a lot of our tables are plastic so this this might be a problem that happens to anything that's like uh wooden laminated wood plywood type material um, I don't know, Adam, let me know what, what uh, the situation is in, in that regard. I don't know if it happens to your eight foot tables, but for the cocktail tables, I did notice that, you know, if they're out wet, extend, especially for an extended period of time in the rain, you know, I'm not saying like spill a glass of water. No, that's fine. I'm saying out in the rain for two hours type thing when it's pouring. So what we do now is we have covers for them okay and that way um it's just a plastic bag we cover it and say just put these on if it starts raining please because that will prevent damage okay the other thing is yeah like what happened here you tell me right because i was surprised that this would happen at all so yeah and like i'm just surprised like this is supposed to be steel or or whatever so i'm surprised the base um, broke off. So just a note for you that this can happen because it happened to me. And all my cocktail tables are, what, maybe a year old or something like that. So it's not a, I did actually sell off a few, which was fantastic. Now, the last thing uh, it happens is these, it's easy to lose the feet. Uh, I can show you over here <clears throat> that, you know, I have a few, co uh, few bases here and these, some of them, like these are not screw on and these still fall off and then uh, these ones are screw on. So make sure, use some Loctite and make sure they're on uh, tightly because otherwise uh, they will, uh, here's one, otherwise they will uh, fall off and people do adjust them. The reason they're screw on is so you can make the table level. So that's great. But honestly, it's also bad because they do fall off. So <laughs> we're actually just making, uh, putting Loctite on there. Do I have some Loctite here? Yeah, just throw on some Loctite, right? And that way, uh, yeah, they won't be able to adjust them, but you're not losing feet all the time. It's a better idea. If you do lose one feet and you don't have a replacement, I found that you can just take them all off. And it honestly, you can't really even tell when it's on the ground that something's kind of wrong with it or anything, right? So actually, feetless is fine as well, um, if if that's sort of the last resort, because obviously missing one foot, it's not gonna be level at all, and you can't use it. So if you take all your feet, that's the last resort if you do lose some feet for the cocktail tables. Anyways, that's a quick note. Try not to get them excessively wet. Uh, when you transport them, be gentle. We transport these top to top, uh, so if, uh, if I had another one, it's back there, so I'm not going to bother bringing it. But essentially, this would be flipped around. So that base 
this base here doesn't scratch this surface. So the other ones just flipped around top to top and then we try to, to wrap them. As well as the poles, if you're transporting multiple ones, just wrap them together so they're not banging and clinging because this metal will dent. So those are the things I quickly, just a quick, really quick things that I learned about cogdial tables that I, that I wish I knew when I was younger, uh, AKA when I got them, because they wouldn't be, they would be in better condition today if I knew that. Take it easy guys, sub to the channel if you're new and do you do any rentals, event rentals, we would love to have you on. See you later, let's get some business done.